HelloFresh takes the guesswork and the extra hassle out of planning and preparing delicious meals for dinner. America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh gives you over 40 recipes to choose from each week. And then your farm fresh pre-portioned seasonal ingredients arrive at your doorstep with simple instructions to help you feel like the master chef of your kitchen. And did you know that HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout? HelloFresh has been an awesome addition to our household's dinner routine. We all get involved and cook together following the pictured step-by-step instructions. It's a fun quality time and the meals are delicious. Give it a try and see for yourself. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, to get 50% off plus free shipping, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all. With lucky landslots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. No, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. This episode of the Having It All podcast is sponsored by me, Matthew Bivens. And I absolutely love helping people launch and grow podcasts. My background is in digital marketing, and I'll be honest, When I was first presented with the idea of starting a podcast to grow my brand, I completely shut it down. I thought it was going to be too expensive, too time-consuming, and pull me away from what I really wanted to focus on in my business. But you know what? Shortly after launching the Digital Marketing Guy podcast, I realized that I could have not been more wrong. Podcasting quickly became my favorite and most effective way of reaching a global audience, growing my brand authority, and attracting my ideal client. Today, after successfully launching, growing, and monetizing three different podcasts, I help businesses and entrepreneurs do the same. To learn more about how I can help you break into podcasting, go to matthewbivens.com slash podcast. Again, that's matthewbivens.com slash podcast. Welcome to the Having It All podcast, the show about what it takes to live an abundant, loving life. My name is Matthew Bivens, and each week I'm helping you get out of your head so that you can truly have it all. Let's do it. What is going on, everybody? Matthew Bivens here, and I am excited for this conversation we're about to have. Actually, I'm getting this recording in like right under the wire. Uh, What I mean by that is um, in my recording yesterday, in the episode I recorded um, yesterday and published today, I said that I have set a goal for myself to to record something every day for the next 30 days. So whether it's a full-blown episode or whether it's just a quick thought that I had, I wanted to work on building that habit of recording and creating content every day, and I almost freaking forgot. It's like almost 11 p.m. right now. I was just wrapping up a few things before going to bed, and it it popped in my mind like, holy crap, I didn't record. And it was a good thing that I wrote it down um, because I think had I not, you know, made that one of my goals and actually written it down, I wouldn't have gotten it done. You know, I wouldn't be here right now recording. I probably would have remembered, you know, as I was falling asleep or probably just tomorrow morning. But it's cool that uh, that it happened because this this is kind of um, related to what I wanted to talk about today. Um, today I want to talk about law of attraction a little bit. And for certain folks listening, you might hear the phrase law of attraction and just be completely turned off by it. Um, you might hear that phrase and and be like, "What the heck is that? I I don't really know what that is." Um, and that's cool. I have have you know, an interesting relationship with law of attraction. And so I'm going to share some of my my thoughts on it and some of the way that I use the law of attraction in my life. So I think the best place to start is going to be to just describe what law of attraction is. So the law of attraction is this idea that you can create in your life whatever it is that you focus on. 
HelloFresh takes the guesswork and the extra hassle out of planning and preparing delicious meals for dinner. America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh gives you over 40 recipes to choose from each week. And then your farm fresh pre-portioned seasonal ingredients arrive at your doorstep with simple instructions to help you feel like the master chef of your kitchen. And did you know that HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout? HelloFresh has been an awesome addition to our household's dinner routine. We all get involved and cook together following the pictured step-by-step instructions. It's a fun quality time and the meals are delicious. Give it a try and see for yourself. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, to get 50% off plus free shipping, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day a little. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW group void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. So you focus on something, you really visualize it, then boom, you can manifest it in your life. Now, a lot of folks who are very anti-law of attraction, they don't like that concept because it's one of those things that I think you can easily just believe that people have this thought in their mind that, oh, all I have to do is think about something and I can have it. So if I want a new car, I just think about it. I put that thought out into the universe. I can sit back and relax and boom, a new car shows up. And it's this sort of, you know, law of attraction is it's kind of grown in, in popularity, I guess, or maybe it's like a more of a trendy thing um, these days. And I just think that it's gotten... I don't know. It's it's pretty polarizing. Some camps are all about it and they talk about it a whole lot. Other camps are just like, no, anything that even sounds like law of attraction, you know, you sort of file it away in that hippie, frou-frou, don't know what the heck they're talking about type of conversation and that just goes in the corner and we don't look at it. So for myself, you know, I am I talk to people and I run in circles with folks who are very much into law of attraction. And I think when I first started to understand the concept, I was incredibly like, yeah, that's some BS. That doesn't actually happen. And uh, anybody who believes that is a little crazy for believing that. And, you know, there's a part of me that still honestly feels that way. But I, you know, I, I approached it, that idea with a lot of skepticism um, you know, I'm a person who was always gravitated towards science and and really, you know, having research and data and, you know, and information to back up certain claims. And so, you know, I felt, hey, listen, people who, who want to just put things out there and say the universe will take care of it, I just have to put it out there. You know, I thought cool for them, but, uh, you know, it doesn't actually work. So they'll just be walking around wishing for things all day long and stuff doesn't happen. I can't say my position in that way has 100% changed now, but I, I have sort of softened my feelings about law of attraction and have embraced it in a lot of ways um, these days. And it, 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 it comes from experience. It comes from trying things out and experimenting in my own life. And so for me right now, the way that I view law of attraction, you know, I I still practice it in in the the same way that you know I mocked in the past. You know, I will I'm very intentional about things that I want to create in my life, uh, from experiences with Sarah and the type of uh, you know intimate relationship I want with her to. Uh, physical things I want to to come into my world. Like uh, right now, Sarah and I are looking to create a new dining room table. We would love a dining room table. And after that, we're interested in creating a new couch. 
After that, we want to replace a laptop. And after that, we want to you know, build the funds to go on a, on a, on a great uh, vacation to Disney World, take Maya to Disney World for the first time. So all of those things, you know, physical, tangible things like a computer or um, experiential, emotional things like, you know, deeper sense of intimacy with Sarah to, uh, you know, all sorts of things. We're very, very intentional about putting those things, and I'm going to use this phrase, putting those things out into the universe. What that looks like for us is sitting down, opening up a document on our computer and writing down those things that we want to create, manifest experience in our lives. Like we did this exercise about a week and a half ago and we literally have a Google Doc, you know, that just goes line by line. It's it starts out with kids. And so we're visualizing the type of family that we want to have. And then it goes to house. What type of home do we want to to live in and and you know, how many rooms? What is the what size of the bathroom? We just kind of went through all the different things we wanted to create and experience in our lives and we put it down. So that in and of itself, I don't think is too crazy, right? Like that's very similar to goal setting. You know, you, you have something you want to create or you, want, you have something you want to achieve or accomplish. So you turn it into a goal. You write that goal down on a piece of paper, right? That's why I'm recording right now because I wrote the goal down of recording for 30 days and holy crap, at, you know, 11 o'clock, I realize, oh my gosh, I got to do this. I need to accomplish this. And it's because I wrote that goal down and it just kind of, you know, gave me that repetition of remembering that goal in my mind. So law of attraction, the way that I practice it, is very similar to that. Now, here is where some of my personal belief, some of my, my background in you know, studying psychology and that my leanings towards some of the science stuff comes into play when it comes to law of attraction. I believe, and I've experienced this in myself, that when we put something out into the universe, when we put out an intention... You know, when I say I want to create the new dining room table, what that does is just simply having that thought, stating that thought, being very clear around that thought and visualizing it, it shifts your behavior. And that's why I think people experience truly tr- the true manifestation from law of attraction, because I believe it shifts your behavior. And I believe that when you are putting things out there, into the, the mass awareness, into the awareness of other people, it shifts their behavior as well. So right now, even if it's in the very farthest back corners of my mind, I'm thinking about creating this dining room table, right? And if I'm just kind of hanging out on Facebook, I might be inspired to shoot out a message on my wall. Hey, I'm looking for dining room table, rectangle, two chairs and a bench. Does anybody have one? Right? Like that, that idea might pop into my mind or, you know, maybe I, I send it to a buddy of mine who I know is connected with different furniture resources or things like that. Or maybe I share the idea or share the thought, share the desire with my Tuesday night fitness group. Because I've set that intention, because I've gotten clear on it, because I've taken a moment to write it down, it's been implanted in my head, and now my behavior is altered because of that. I'm taking actions in some way. Some, some actions are significant. Some are very subtle. Some are very small. But I'm taking some sort of action towards making that thing happen. Even if that action is simply you know, letting one other person know, well, now it's out there. Now that idea, now that desire is out there for myself to do something with or for other people to do something with. So, you know, I, I still have my own personal, I don't know if you want to call them reservations or bias or whatever it is about law of attraction simply being if I sit here and state that I want something and I truly want it enough, it's going to happen without any further activity on my part. You know, I I do have a bit of a challenge kind of grasping that idea, but you know what? I'll be honest. 
how do I actually know that it doesn't work exactly like that? How do I know for, for, for certain? I can't. I honestly can't. And so I do my very best to, to not judge and not poo-poo on the folks who are like all about law of attraction, right? They just put things out left and right. Cool. Because I truly don't know. But what I do know for myself and what I do know for the people who I've talked to this about, you know, others like me who are really into the idea, but just want to ground it a little bit more and feel like, okay, I, I get why this works. What I know from, from those experiences is that when I am clear on what I want to create in life, and clarity is the key, when I am clear on what I want to create, things within me shift. My behavior shifts. My attitude shifts. My outlook shifts. I mean, that is it. That's a big part of it, right? Like, if I don't believe that I can manifest $20,000 to go buy a brand new car, if I don't believe that, well, then I'm, I'm most likely not going to make it happen. I'm not going to put in any energy towards making that goal happen. I'm not going to feel inspired to try to find a way to, to, to get that car if I don't truly believe it. It is Ryan here, and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like, are you a fist pumper? A woohooer, a hand clapper, a high fiver. I kind of like the high five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At chumbacasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses. So don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. DTW, void, we're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. Lucky Land Casino asking people what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. So there are some components to this law of attraction stuff that I, I think that you can cultivate. And I think you can practice this thing. I think you can practice this stuff. And, you know, what I encourage for you, if, if you're skeptical like me, if you've never heard of it, or maybe you are, you know, somebody who, who has tried it in the past, but like, nah, just don't get in with this stuff, you know, maybe give it another shot. Give it another shot. And I recommend being incredibly clear about what you want to create about what you want to experience. Visualize it. Take 60 seconds. Just pull out your phone, 60 second timer, close your eyes and visualize what it is that you want. If it's, you know, a vacation, visualize how you're going to feel once you make the once you purchase those tickets or once you get on that plane or once you check into your hotel. Visualize the, those feelings. Visualize what it feels like to sit in that new car or to put on those new shoes, or to open up that new phone, like, dang, wow, that, what does that feel like? Really try and c- to connect with that emotion as if you already have it. And then write down what it is that you want. Get very clear on it. Write it down on, you know, on a piece of paper. Sarah and I use whiteboards. We have a whiteboard in our kitchen. The top half has the goals, the things that we want to hit this, this week, the three goals that each of us want to accomplish. And the bottom half has our menu. So we see this thing all the time. Our goals and what we want to create and what we want to experience are constantly in front of us. We also have a piece of paper that, that lists, it's literally like things that we want to purchase with a price point next to it. It's been on my, on my wall since... February. We did a new one in February. And as we create the funds or as those things are gifted to us, we just scratch it off. But it's this idea of visualizing what you want, experiencing what you want, writing it down, taking the time to write it down, and then have it in front of you. Have that constant reminder about what you're playing for. I will go as close to guarantee as I can 
that your behaviors will shift as a result. And it's those shifts in behaviors that are going to get you closer to actually creating that thing that you want to create. So that was the little download I had as I realized, holy crap, I forgot to record today. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a powerful one. And I am excited to hear your feedback. You know, I want to hear your feedback on this idea. You know, what do you think of the, the, the law of attraction? What have you experienced with it? What are your thoughts on it? Let me know. You can email me at mattcbivens at gmail.com or you can go on my website, matthewbivens.com, click on the contact link and drop me a note in the contact form and I will read it, I will respond to you, we'll get into a dialogue and we'll, we'll share some knowledge. So that'll be a beautiful thing. Also, I have uh, upgraded the equipment for the podcast recently. So let me know what you think. Does it sound better to you? Does it sound worse? You know, right now I'm recording in my den, so it's pretty big space and I hear a little bit of an echo, but I don't know. Let me know if you can hear it. And uh, overall, just give me some show feedback. I love I love receiving feedback on, on the show. So I would appreciate it. And uh, lastly, I'm just grateful. Grateful to you. Grateful for your time and listening and your ear. Uh, I'm grateful for your emails and just for you being awesome. I appreciate it. I do this for you. So it's a great thing. My name is Matthew Bivens, and here is to you having it all. It is Ryan here, and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like, are you a fist pumper? A woohooer, a hand clapper, a high fiver. I kind of like the high five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At chumbacasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses. So don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. DTW, void, we're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus.